Hi, this is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids, and I'm here with USC tight end Xavier Grimble. How do you feel that your redshirt year has helped you to become the player you are now? Um, I think it was good for me. You know, I'm a young guy coming in. I was a 17-year-old freshman, so I think it was good just for me to take a year off, and uh, not really a year off, but just a year to you know get better and uh, focus on my body and my skills and just uh, you know get to a good fast start. You and Randall Telfair came in the same year, both tight ends. How have you guys grown together competitively and by working together? Um, I, th I think it's helped a lot, man. We uh, we compete every day, you know, since the day we got here. And uh, we play a lot of two tight end sets. So, you know, we both in the game a lot at the same time. And uh, I just think uh, just through friendly competition, it's uh, made us a lot better. You know, we're both, you know, gifted athletes, so and we both got different attributes, so we make, a, make each other better in a lot of ways. you got two great playmakers on the outside with Marquise Lee and Robert Woods. Mm -hmm. How does that help you when you're matched up on linebackers and safeties? Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty good for me because, uh, you know, guys got to worry about them so much that sometimes they kind of miss me. You know, I'm a big guy, so I don't know how to do that. But, I mean, uh, Marquise and Robert, man, are so fast and athletic and then hard to guard, so, I mean, it's a lot of um, a lot of focus gets put on them, and sometimes people kind of leave me out, and that's when I get over. How did coming into the season being ranked the number one team in the country? How did that add extra pressure to you guys? Um, it was a little bit of pressure. I feel like um, I mean, as hard as we try, you know, not to let it, you know, affect us. It's it is what it is. It's a pretty big distraction. But I think we did a pretty good job of not letting it, you know, affect you know the way we do things around here. And uh, but it's been good. It, it was cool, you know, kind of go through that, you know, have that, you know, before the season, but. You know, it's over now, so we're just trying to, you know, focus on each game. When you got the first got the schedule this season, what was the one game that you circled and just couldn't wait to play? Um, I'm not sure, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm usually pretty excited for the whole season. Uh, I mean, Notre Dame was fun, fun game last year just to be a part of that whole rivalry and tradition, that whole thing. And uh, Oregon last year, that was a great game. But, uh, you know, all games are pretty much an uh, opportunity to, you know, showcase your skills. So I like every game pretty much. What's it like right now, the tunnel at the Coliseum with thousands of fans cheering for you? Oh, uh, man, it's no better feeling, really. Um, it's just a big uh, home feeling, you know. You kind of get a, a gut full of confidence. You know, you got all the fans behind you and screaming for you and stuff like that. And uh, it's just uh, one of those things you probably just got to experience, you know, really explain it all. But it's a great feeling. What do you do to give back to the Los Angeles community? Um, I just uh, try to be a mentor to um, any any young kid I see that's trying to you know do something positive or make things happen. You know, because I know I was once that kid, and uh, I just know the effect it has on anybody when you know you just say a couple things or sign something or just talk to somebody. You know, you can change their whole mindset and their whole you know lifestyle pretty much. So just trying to mentor anybody you know that needs help or wants it, and uh, just trying to do something positive. Thank you for your time and good luck the rest of the season. Wow. This is Nick Garner for Sports Talk for Kids. Hey kids, let's talk sports.